This is nuts and bolts speed training with your keyboard shortcuts for grouping and ungrouping objects, which makes moving things around on your slides a lot easier. And here in PowerPoint, if I click and drag to select the objects on my slide, you can see I have three different graphs and three rectangles that I'm working with. Now to make these easier to move around on my slide, I can select two of the objects, my graph and my rectangle, and create a group by hitting Control G on my keyboard to create a single object that I can then move around on my slide. I can also click and drag and select multiple objects and create a second group, Control G to group again, which will then allow me to move the different objects around on my slide. Now you can continue to create as many groups as you want, but after you have a number of them, you might realize that to click in and format the different objects is difficult when the objects are part of a group. So you can ungroup the objects if you select a group, Control Shift G once. You can see the objects break down except for this first group. So it was a group within a group. So to ungroup this second object, I need to hit Control Shift G a second time. And you can see it also breaks down back into the chart and rectangle that it originally was. Now, besides ungrouping normal PowerPoint shapes, you can also ungroup SmartArt graphics, which breaks them down into individual pieces. And you can also ungroup vector graphics that you buy or download from the web. So those are your grouping shortcuts. Control G to form a group and Control Shift G to break a group apart, which makes moving objects around on your slides a lot easier. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.